Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. So yesterday I made a video about how to level your characters and farm gold uh, using the best method that I thought was possible at the time. And one day later, today, they released the part 7 of the story mode. So I'm kind of thinking that the video I made yesterday is already pretty much obsolete because in this latest chapter, um, I haven't played any of it yet on the uh, global server, but I played it on Japan, and there's a there's probably a few, quite a few stages in there that are better for um, XP and gold. So if you watched yesterday's video, it's still pretty good, but since they released part seven of the story mode, there is uh, probably better uh, better stages to farm and all that. Um, it's kind of it's kind of funny that. One day later, one day later, it would uh, they would release part seven and make that video I made yesterday uh, kind of out of date. But um, we'll move on, and no big deal. I'm happy to have uh, a new chapter. New chapter means uh, new, uh, new, uh, well, more ways to get spirit orbs, more spirit orbs for everyone. And <clears throat> from what I remember, I played this on the Japanese version, and. Uh, this chapter, it starts, the game actually starts getting pretty, well, not pretty difficult, but more difficult than it's been. So, hopefully you all have some good characters, strong characters, to um, to do these levels. And if not, you'll get there. Um, there's quite a few three-star drops. Nothing really special. The usual suspects. Um, yeah, yeah, um, I'm excited. It'll give me a, a new thing to do in game, uh, and we also have the the new special event, which is you know it's a normal special event. <clears throat> and I've already done the first two parts, and uh, you know it's it's pretty funny. I, I, I've uh, I've enjoyed the little mini story that they've had, um, so I figured you know why not? Um, I'm going to do the last part on camera just for fun. And if you guys want to watch that, um, you know, great. Anyway, the, so this, so since I played the uh, the first two parts already, <clears throat> I'll just recap the story r real quick. It's a real simple story. Uh, Iba Tetsuzaiman, he's the uh, vice captain of Squad Seven, uh, Captain Komamura's uh, division, and um, apparently it's like White Day. Uh, it's Valentine's Day in the Serite. And everyone's getting chocolates from uh, Rangiku Matsumoto, and as you know, if you follow the uh, follow the anime or the manga, all the vice captains, you know, uh, Renji. Well, maybe not all of them, but uh, definitely definitely Hisagi is in love with Matsumoto. So, and apparently Iba is too. You know, I whatever you know Iba. He was kind of a funny character, you know. He's a uh, he's like a really manly, manly tough guy, um, and he thinks uh, he thinks people should like real men should act like real men, you know, be tough, be good at fighting and stuff like that. Anyway, the story so far in the event is that Eba's gotten uh, some Valentine's Day chocolate, and he doesn't know who it's from, and he's pretty sure it's from Matsumoto, and Hisagi, who's also in love with Matsumoto. You know, they kind of have a little um, little argument about it, about who Matsumoto would rather be with or, you know, who she would want for her Valentine's. And, uh, you know, they have a little fight about it. So that's where we are now. And Renji and Kira are on the sidelines and they're just, you know, shaking their heads. Like, what are these two idiots doing? Um, so let's find out what happens. I'm kind of curious. I don't know if a lot of you guys actually read the read the dialogue. But I do, because you know it's uh, I I love Bleach, so I um I don't skip any of that stuff. All right, let's move the camera up here. All right, so Komamura is involved now, and he's he's just trying to break up the fight with uh, Iba and uh, and Hisagi. Well, it's. Lieutenant Iba, just tell him truthfully. Maybe Captain Komamura might know something about the chocolates, who gave him the chocolates. 
I suppose so. Well, you see, there was a box of chocolates on my desk, but it didn't say the name of the sender. Chocolates. The, tr the tradition is that when you get chocolate for Valentine's Day, you give back a gift on White Day the following month. And White Day is like the reverse Valentine's Day, where it's focused on the men in Japan. So we were discussing on how to find out who sent him those chocolates. And that conversation eventually led up to this mess. Would you have any idea on where the chocolates came from, Captain Komomura? Those chocolates are for me. Ha! Ah, I knew it was going to be from a guy. Uh... What? Oh, okay, so we're fighting now? Yeah, Iba is one of those characters that never got any development in the manga. So, when I saw him uh, on the special event screen, I was like, what, are they gonna, are they gonna make us, uh, like, a four-star version of him or something? Because, you know, I, what kind of powers would they give him, you know? Like, he's never shown any abilities. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of characters in Bleach. But, you know, out of all of the vice captains, he's probably had the least development. And it's uh, it's kind of a shame, because he seems like an interesting character. I don't know why Kubo chose to draw him as, like, some kind of uh, Yakuza-looking uh, looking dude. I mean, I think, I think the most we've seen from him is uh, that he, like, him and Ikaku, they... Uh, they spar all the time, and they uh, they drink sake together. And they have, like, a little rivalry thing going. Um, if I, man, it's been a long time, but I, I think... I think from what we know of Iba, he used to be in Kenpachi's division. But he transferred to Komamura's division because he couldn't become a vice captain for Kenpachi. Because Kenpachi already had Yuchiru. And, you know, even even if he didn't have Yuchiru, I think uh, Michika or uh, Ikaka would have been ahead of Iba. So, like, in a real in real world terms, he transferred because because there was no room for uh, for advancement in the 11th division. So he's kind of, I don't know, I guess you might think of him as a little bit of a, you know, I don't know, a sellout. But that's all we know about him. We don't know what any of his abilities or we know what his uh, his release Zanpak Toe looks like. It kind of looks like a just like a you know kind of a sword with a hook at the end, with a little spike at the end. I don't know if it does anything, but um, and I don't think we're gonna find out too much about him either, even in the in the manga. Because they're already way past uh, the point where he could make any significant contribution to the story or, or the fighting. Um, yeah, so that's that's Eva. All right. Maybe I should pay attention to the. F Maybe I should uh, pay attention to the game. I kill these guys. Uh, these dudes are annoying. My economy is still pretty weak because I haven't managed to give him good accessories yet. Uh, I need to level up, level up his accessories. So anyway. Captain, you mean you? There's no real meaning behind it. Let's move my camera over here so you can see the pictures. It's just that I received some chocolates from the members of my squad for Valentine's. Oh, you don't like chocolate? No, it's not that. Probably because he's a dog, and I think... I don't know too much about dogs, but chocolates, if they eat a lot of it, it's poisonous to them. Bow wow. Yachiru, did you need something from me? 
Nichiro always calls Komomura like doggy or something like that. I'm giving chocolates to everyone because it's Valentine's Day. Oh, is that what everyone was all excited about? But Baldi was saying that puppies shouldn't need any chocolate. See, what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> so I'm giving you this candies. So went Yuchiru's explanation. I didn't know about it since I had never actually eaten any, but it seems my body isn't capable of eating chocolate. That being said, I've already received these chocolates. They're thoughtful gifts, so I can't just let them go to waste. And then I heard from the other squad members that Valentine's Day is also about showing appreciation. So I thought I'd give the chocolates, chocolates to, to Tetsu Zaiman, which is why I left them on your desk. I apologize for not writing my name on it. Oh man, you let him on. He thought they were from Rangiku. Well, that's my side of the story, so don't feel bad about eating them. Anyway, I need to get going. Excuse me. Well, now we know who sent you the chocolates. When Yuchiru said puppy, I'm pretty sure she meant normal dogs. I've also heard that it's not good to feed dogs chocolate. <laughs> he's not a dog. He's kind of a... I don't know. He's like a dog human or something. I'm not sure if that pertains to Co Captain Kopamura. Exactly, exactly. Wah! What the... Hey, what's wrong now? Uh, yeah, he's upset. Oh, I'm so touched by Captain Komamura's kindness. But that means I still haven't received any chocolates from any of the girls. Yeah, yeah you're not that handsome, Iba. You got screwed there. Uh, am I supposed to be happy or sad? What am I supposed to do? Well, the day hasn't ended yet. Yeah, yeah, there's always a possibility that the girls coming back from their missions will give you some. This poor bastard. <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm guessing that means there's another part to it. Uh, what? I didn't, oh, I didn't finish that in time. Unbelievable. Because I was talking. I'm not paying attention. I'll have to redo that, but no big deal. You know, I usually, usually I grind these events, you know. Like tons of times just to get the uh, get the characters, get the four star Renji, or and whatever they're dropping right now. Oh wait, all right, so maybe there's another part. I don't know. There might be another part if I finish that uh, third star that I missed. So I'll have to see about that later. Um. Anyway, yeah, it's uh. Should be a pretty busy day in Bleach Brave Souls. We have that new chapter, and we have this event. And um, there's something going on in the Japan server as well. I'm not sure what it means because, you know, I don't read Japanese. But I, uh, I'll, I'll just show you that real quick. Alright, so now we're on the Japanese Brave Souls server. And tomorrow they're going to release this event, uh, 1300. You know, and... Um, I'm not really sure what that means because I don't read. I can't. I can't read what's uh, what's here. Um, so you know, I don't know how much point there is really showing you guys this right now. But um, you know, might as well since it's um, since it's another new thing that's out. Um, looks like it runs from May 11th to May 20th, uh, ten days. And you know, I can't figure out much else from it. Um, there's a schedule here that the event happens um, every day at these times for, so it happens three times a day for 30 minutes. And uh, the only other thing I can think of that is similar to that is um, they had an event in the past where uh, they made a, every every day, three times a day, or, or however many times a day, they made a stage available that gave you, like, shitloads of XP. Um, and it only lasted for 30 minutes. So, um, but during that time, you could run the stage and you could level, pretty much you could level up uh, anything to max, like, in a few runs. So, you know, maybe it has something to do with that. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll find out tomorrow. But, um, you know, it doesn't seem like it's anything too exciting. You know, there's no new characters or 
or uh, anything like that going on. And um, yeah, so it's a pretty uh, pretty exciting day in Bleach Brave Souls, you know, whatever that means. Uh, we got a new story mode chapter. Um, we got a new event. Um, and there's something new going on in Japan for anyone that plays on there. Um, and uh, that's about it. But before we go, I just kind of wanted to see something. All right, so this is the part seven on Japan, on the Japan server. Uh, part seven is the part we just got today on global. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's eighteen parts. So each part gives you five spirit orbs. So 18, 18 times five, uh, ninety. I think it's ninety. Um, ninety plus. Let's see. Let's go back here. And there are there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like you can get a total of 97 orbs out of this uh, out of this um, normal mode, and then you do it on hard mode. If, and if you complete 100% on both, you get um, 196. So 196 orbs out of this uh, out of this chapter, which is pretty good, you know. And you add in the special event orbs, you know, you can get you can get up to 250 for a 10 pack summon. And um, if you watch my previous videos or I've been keeping track of what's going on in the future in game. We might be getting the uh, full Hollow Ichigo and the second release Okiora pretty soon. So you're probably going to want orbs for that to give it a try. But um, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Some interesting things happening and uh, lots to do. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.